So this video is all about your Mac and all about how to clear space and see what's taking up the most space in your Mac. So let the download begin. So if you're finding the channel for the first time on this channel, we do support videos that teach you not only how to use the devices you currently own, but how to troubleshoot some of the biggest issues those devices may have. So if you enjoy videos like that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below to help support the channel and also share the video out. You never know who's having some issues. The video can help. And also don't forget to share your thoughts, comments, and any questions you have about the video in the comment section below. Let's get started with clearing out some space in your Mac. Files and different things that you download can accumulate really quickly in the Mac itself, especially if you don't have a large hard drive or are storing things in the cloud or on external hard drives. If you're storing things directly in your Mac, you'll be surprised how quickly your space can actually fill up. So what we're gonna do is just go over some really quick things that you can do to kind of mitigate any kind of space in issues that you have. But also remember that probably one of the best tips I can give you is don't really try to store anything directly on the hard drive of the Mac itself try to store it in your iCloud's account or Dropbox account or any kind of cloud account that you may have or on an external hard drive that always helps to kind of offload anything that you don't need direct access to immediately or access to if your computer is ever not connected to the network. So first and foremost, you want to familiarize yourself with the storage tool of the Mac itself. And you can kind of go into that storage tool and see exactly how much storage space you actually have, what's taking up a lot of the storage space, and you can kind of dig a a little bit deeper into seeing where you can start working to remove programs that can clear up a lot of storage space that you may have. Now, one of the easiest things you can also do is just to make sure you clear your trash bin. So anytime you actually remove any kind of files or program, it just kind of sits there in your trash and that actually still takes up digital space. So you want to make sure to empty your bin of any kind of large items that may be sitting in the bin that you no longer need. Again, make sure you don't need them and then just empty out the bin and you'll be surprised exactly how much space that can clear up from time to time. Then you want to also go through and uninstall any applications that you're not using on the computer. We accumulate apps over the course of the use of a computer itself. And it may be apps that we no longer use uh, as much or at all anymore. So they're kind of just sitting there taking up space. Some of these apps update automatically. So they've gotten bigger since you've initially installed them. Kind of go through, do an inventory of the applications that you have, and then delete the ones that you don't use and you'll end up saving a ton of space. Now, the next thing you want to do is to kind of go into your library folder and clear up any kind of cache temporary files or backups that you no longer need in that particular folder. Be careful in this folder because it is an important folder and it holds a lot of data and information that is necessary for the operating system to work properly. So you just want to go in. You'll be surprised how much cash Google Chrome saves up, how much cash these web browsers use, the applications inside your computer. You can clear a lot of that cash and that can actually clear a lot of space for your computer to operate and function properly. And of course, clearing out your downloads folder and your documents folder is a must when it comes to clearing up space. So this is actually going to be that bonus tip is that you can actually download a really cool program. And what this program does is it kind of sweeps your hard drive because sometimes all those files are stored in different locations. So you kind of need to know where the files are in order to make a determination on whether you want to keep the files stored there or probably move them to the cloud, just remove them from your computer altogether. So this program will actually help you kind of sweep through your hard drive, understand exactly exactly where everything is located so you can have a better understanding of what needs to be removed and what needs to stay. So hopefully this video helps you kind of get a hold of that storage in your Mac and clear out some space so you can have some more space. When that line starts creeping up a little bit, I get a little nervous. So I know you probably started thinking the same thing. This video will should and hopefully will definitely help you clear out a lot of space in your Mac so you can breathe a little bit better. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It helps support the channel. Hit that bell for notifications so you know when we release a new video. And don't forget to share any thoughts, comments, or any questions you have in the comment section below the video as well. Share the video out. You never know who it can help. Thank you so much for checking it out. And until next time, peace.